Yes, it was an assassination attempt. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't mislead people into thinking it. Oh, it's just a mistake. You know, someone was trying to do, you know, do some hunting. And he just mistakenly hit his... No, no, this was an assass... This was a planned, scripted assassination attempt that didn't go as planned. This was... Um, for, for you guys that are not in the know and still living under a rock and don't know the news. So yesterday, Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, was shot in an attempted, an assassination attempt to kill him. Now, I'm kind of shocked but not shocked because the fact is, and history has shown this time and time again, that when you're a controversial figure, and you're, you know, you're saying things that are not accepted or you're challenge, your challenging society at large, you're going to have some, some blowback, some, 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 um, what, what you call, I'm missing the word now, but you're, you, but you're, you're, you're not going to be in the favor of a person's eyes. Is it me? You look, you look through history, um, Malcolm X, they took out Malcolm X because his movement with the Muslims and the, the Quran, um, his beliefs, society, especially when it was a racial society, they didn't sit well with that. So they would take him out. And the funny thing was that his own people would take him out. Black people took him out, not white. Black people took him out and would kill him. Martin Luther King, the same thing. Is me? This is not new, man. I mean, even Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was taken out uh not assassination attempt but they were looking to kill him because they didn't like what he was challenging the pharisees i think you can read that in the bible and because he was teaching something that was different from their beliefs and at the same time challenging their beliefs their belief system they didn't like that so they wanted to kill him and that's what they did this is me but they didn't get the last laugh it's just that they won the war but they didn't win the battle jesus is in heaven right now is me and the person that wanted to kill him and kill him are dead now. So how you like them green apples? But the fuck is that they wanted him dead because they didn't like what he was saying. I mean even with two pop man, come on man. In ninety six, you don't think Pac what Pac knew say at some point some person would try it. And I think some person did actually try it. I ain't go, you know, I ain't gonna call no names but in 96, this bridging was making record after record, you know, song after song after song during the concert. Because he knew at some point, the jig was up for him. And, you know, in September 96, that's what happened. Is me? So, this is why you see certain persons walk with entourages, man. Because when you're a controversial figure, when you're seeing controversial stuff, not to, not to just, for, not for the sake of being controversial, but... When you have a strong opinion, a belief that you share openly, persons are not going to take kind to that. Is me, and you know, at some point, man, pers most persons don't like truth, so they go try to take you out and kill you. <laughs> Is me, but with Donald Trump. Um, we all know, dude. This the, Donald Trump has always been a controversial, so this is not nothing new. But what surprised me is the assassination attempt, and which which loophole he came from, like who was behind it, is me. Like person are saying, oh, Democrats, Democrats, you know, you know, Democrats is behind the hit. Democrats is behind it. They, they, they send out some Democratic hitman to go hit Donald Trump, to, to kill him in his public rally. Now, that could be the case. But like I said, man, I don't think taking out a former president in that state, I, I don't know. I, I, there are persons that are saying it is coming from Biden's camp. But it says in the news at, on NBC that, that uh, let, me, let me go read it so I don't misquote him. Um, so, President Joe Biden called the shooting sick and condemned political violence. He spoke with Trump later in the day. If that is true, then that is good, but... See me, <laughs> you have to understand the Machiavellian side of politi politics and power. You know, if some persons want to blow them, not blow them cover, but to cover up their cover, you know, like as if they had nothing to do with it. Because look, if, if, if Biden, 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 Biden think him slick, you know, because if he didn't visit Donald Trump or didn't say anything that was, you know, conducive to his, his situation, his condition, he knew that persons would look, would look his way and say, 
this president put a hit on the former president of the United States. He go use some patsy to go try to take him out. And it was an affair assassination attempt. So, in one essence, you can say if he didn't visit Donald Trump or he didn't say anything about Donald Trump getting hit, persons go say, this bedroom tried to have Donald Trump hit and it went awry. But see, that he visited, as, as, as it says here, he spoke with Donald Trump later in the day, so I'm guessing he visited him or something. Some person may say, well, I don't believe that because he could still, you know, you might still put a hit on someone. But just because he didn't, you know, he didn't kill him, don't mean say he can't visit. You can still visit him just to try cover up your maneuver. And that could be the case. But I'm not saying it's the case. But it's a theory. You know, if these things happen, bro, we have seen criminals pull this off. You know, criminals going to going to them rival funerals, trying to cover up the fact that they put the hit on their their rivals. You see me? This has this has been happening. So this is probably one of them sleep moves. If he's behind the hit, if Joe President Joe Biden is behind it, let him go visit him and say, you know, what's up, man? You know, try someone trying to trying to shoot you. You know, what's up with that, man? That that's not a good look. The person saying that Democrats are behind it. Um, now some persons may say, well, what if it's just a random gunman? That dude, they, they, man, hey, let me, hey, the the bridge, let, let, let me go read some. So the identified shooter is a 20-year-old Thomas Matthews Crooks of Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, and he was immediately killed by the Secret Services. A motive is still unknown. I'll tell you the motive. Someone wanted to take him out. No, this, like I said, this is not something that's random. And them say, oh, you know what? Oh, Donald Trump is having a rally in Pennsylvania. Let's take a hit, hit out. No, let's take a hit out on it. No, this has been planned. This has been planned. And there has this bedroom named uh, Thomas Matthews Crook was given a sweetheart deal. Like someone said to him, say, yo, come here, sir. You see, if you take out Donald Trump, you, you go have 20 bucks. Not even 20 bucks. You go give you 150 bucks. You know, you, you come out there unscathed, you know, get killed, you know, get injured. You know, we give you a lot of money because you have to take out a big hit on, a, on the former president, you know. A former president, this is a big hit, you know. This, you go, go, this is going to be public, you know. So when you go do this successfully, you go have a lot of money. With it. So I'm, I'm guessing that's, that's, that's what brought, that's what lured him into being the hit, man. But if he was being realistic with himself, man, I mean... He, there was no he was, he was going to come out of there alive. So it's either this bridging uh, uh, has no self worth about him, or it's just that the thought of having so much money give if if he did this hit successfully got to his head. Because in my opinion, this was a suicide contract. This was a suicide contract. There is no way you go you go think you go come out of there so, and this bridging having rallied to run for president in two thousand four come November. I think you go just come out of the house and not get injured or get shot at. Come on now. Come on. This is a part this this bridging was a pawn used to take out a hit on the on the former president of the United States. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Joe Colombo. Um Joe Colombo who used to he, Joe Colombo used to be um not president, but he was an Italian American that ran um, some Italian rally back in the late 60s. Um, yeah, because he was trying, he, he did this, 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 um, yes, Italian civil rights activist, something, something, another. And he wanted to remove the Italian uh, stigma because persons were labeling Italian criminals because of the mafia thing, you know, mafia. So they're saying, oh, if you're Italian, you're a part of the mafia, this and that. So the funny thing with Joe Colombo, listen carefully. He wanted to make this um this rally not not only you know remove the stigma from Italians that Italians are criminals or they are part of the mafia this and that, but also he wanted to use it as a cover up, a front for his criminal syndicate. Cause again, if you know your, your mafia history, Joe Colombo was a mafia boss. You understand? This this bridging was a criminal boss of a crime syndicate. Of a Borgata, of a crime family. If you don't, yeah, he used to be the boss of a crime family. 
So to get money, revenue for the, for the family, this Virgin Gomez Cup up front of the Italian Civil Rights League. And it was successful. Persons came out and he got, you know, supporters, jokes, officials, this type of thing. But this guy was a mafia boss. You understand? <laughs> and if you guys, you know, know anything about the mafia, being out there, you know, being, you know, being out there with the chest open is, is the antithesis of what a mafia boss embodies. Most mafia boss back in that time, like your Carlo Gambinos, your Lucases, is me, um, other bosses, they were low key. They didn't want to be out in the open. So for this young bridge named Joe Colombo to come out with some civil, re like that, that's 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 put it, that's giving them too much exposure. And Carl Gambino, who was Capo di Tutti, Capo at the time, boss of bosses, you know, the main boss of the crime of the of of mafia in the country of the United States, didn't like that. So long story short, there was a hit on Joe Colombo. Yeah, look it up. He was hit in 1972 when he was doing his rally. Some black bridge named Jerome Johnson took out the hit. This guy was a young guy as well. Of course, he was um, he was paralyzed. Joe Colombo when he was shot, he was shot three times, I believe. And when he was shot, he went down in a heap. He didn't die immediately. He went. He was in a coma for seven years until he passed. But that hit had a big effect on him surviving. He couldn't even talk on etc. So long story short, the Patsy, the black guy, J Jerome Johnson, was killed by the, the, the by the bodyguards. So like as soon as as soon as him shoot, they, they, they go on him, just like linebackers in NFL onto a ball. They just they just they just went onto him, and when you come off of him, the person dead, the the assassin is dead. So the so the, the the long story short is that um these thing these things happen when you're in the open man, seeing controversial stuff man, don't think the person go go take out a hit on you, it's possible, I'm not saying it will not, it will happen but at the same time, if you're out there some man and you have some rally or something, and you're going against some con you know some some uh some group in society. These things will happen, especially if you're having public rallies, man. People can people go to extreme length and do that. And in the in the case of Donald Trump, not only was Donald Trump injured, but a spectator was killed. And two were critically injured in the shooting. You see me? So the fact is this man, as I wrap up this video, this was an assassination attempt. This was not a, a mistake. Like I said, man, nobody was not uh was looking to do some hunting in the middle of the day, hunting birds. This was an assassination attempt that was planned and it was scripted. This 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 was this the person the per the persons behind this and I'm not saying that it was Biden, although some persons believe it was Biden behind it, or his people behind it, like the Democrats. But they're saying that this was planned. Not this was not random. This was planned on this order. So, the, so, 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 so the fact is this, man. When you're in the open, these things happen. And it's not that I care for Donald Trump like that, although I believe he'll be the next president come November. But these things, you know, the, the, taking, out, taking, a hit, taking out a hit on a former president, <laughs> that's a big ox, man. It's not like the president... Uh, you know, is is the former even the former president is just out there so with no muscle or no entourage. He's going to always have his muscle and entourage, always. So for this bridge named Thomas Crooks Matthews, whatever his name, to go take out a hit on the former president, that's a big. That I, I don't even know what what was was put over his eyes or the like I said, the prospect of getting out of money to take out a hit on the former president. You know. Had him, had him, uh, you know, sweep him off of him foot or something, but it wasn't going to be successful. It wasn't even successful. It, it just swim off of him, him ears, man. His right ear. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. No, no, no. I know so this video is somewhat sensitive because I know some, some persons are going to believe that Biden was behind it. I don't believe Biden is that type of guy. Um, but that said, some person may say that his peoples was behind the hit.
Now you can say, bro, this is not a random assassination attempt. Some person was not just shooting and it randomly lit off the, the, the uh, Trump's ear. This was scripted and planned. You understand? So, yeah, man. Um, God was merciful for... God was merciful to Trump because he, he survived the assassination attempt. So now going forward, persons are he's going to probably double up the muscle around him. You know, um, <laughs> some persons say, some persons saying that, oh, Donald Trump is going to come out with an album like Mini Min, like 50 Cent. You know, persons coming out for him and this and that and that he survived getting shot. <laughs> that's internet for you but yeah let me know your, your thoughts in the comment section man yeah man this was an assassination attempt this was not a random this was not random this there was some person there was a group of person that was behind hitting him like some persons sent out this 20 year old that was so naive probably thinks he was going to get a lot of money hitting the former president that he got himself killed instead of having donald trump killed you see me so um yeah bro i play, i mean this, why are you t you're 20 year old and you're taking a hit out like that man what 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 value of life do you have do you even value life for you to think say go like i say come out of your unscathed man <laughs> persons are just blinded by money man because i'm pretty sure he was going to get a lot of money if if the hit was successful and he killed trump and he got out there unscathed. But even if he killed Trump and he got out there unscathed, that don't mean that he can't get trapped. That don't mean that he can't get trapped. Comments on below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, it's unfortunate. Like I said, bro, I'm not the biggest fan of, fan of Donald Trump. Like I said, I believe he will be president. But no, this 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 is not 1960. What, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yes, Donald Trump talk is ish, but I mean, that, that shouldn't provoke you to take out a hit on him. Because hit dogs will holler, man. Hit dogs will holler. You're a hit dog if you're trying to hit Donald Trump because of what he's been saying. Because what he's been saying has obviously offended you in some way if you are behind the hit. This is not no. If, if, if you go say you go and hit Donald Trump just because, oh, I don't like Donald Trump, so I'm going to put out a hit on him. Dude, that's some petty stuff, man. What? What? So it's deeper than that. This is a political... Let me, let me, let me put it in quotes because I don't want to say it as a fact. This is probably a political thing that they don't want this version to, to run as president. They don't want him to be president. So the hit has been carried out by some certain persons. And the certain persons are not just no, no flunkier either. These are probably high, high, per, high persons in society, possibly. Like I said, I'm not calling no names. But no average Joe Schmo is going to put out a hit on the former president like that. That is probably a hit that was sent out by, like I said, some persons in the government or whatever. Possibly. Possibly. But for the death of me, I can't see this young random bridging just coming up and trying to take out a hit on the former president with no ulterior motive, with no, with no, uh, uh, you know, nothing to look for. Like, like, you know, if you do this, it successfully get this. There must have been something to lure this 20 year old in to do a hit like that. Comments below. Leave me come, uh, leave your comments below, uh, like and subscribe. Well, this is a football channel, but I, um, I, come on, man. I have to have my, my, things like this can't happen and I do have a say on it. Come on. So I have to have, I have to have, uh, give my say on it. What I think about the situation. So leave your comments in the comment section. And with that being said, I'm out.